Breaking news, my wonderful people. It is just so sad though and it really baffles me how our politicians, those desperate politicians would stoop themselves so low, you know, engaging themselves in deadly acts just to make sure they get what they want. And at the end of the day, you see them, they would use all these uh, political talks to perpetrate this evil. Meanwhile, they sit back at their homes and cross their legs and watch how the evil, you know, agenda is being carried out. Now, most of us might be asking, how come did fire suddenly raise the Akere's spare parts market? We go just the ask ourselves because deep down we know say that fire will take place for that uh, spare parts market for Lagos. No be ordinary fire. We know say get some kind of politicians with they behind that fire incident. And now so we just the same. Which brings us to today's news report as the spare parts market burnt down after Fanny Kayo Day's Igbo agenda tweets, my country people. I know say most of us would only ask ourselves, say, who be those people where they behind this, you know, fire incident will happen for Lagos, for the Akere spare parts market? Let's find out more as we hit the news. But if you are joining us for the first time, you're very much welcome. I sincerely appreciate your presence. Kindly subscribe and please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. So, the spare parts dealers have recently lost goods worth millions of naira after fire raised the Akere spare parts market in Ajegunle, Lagos, in the early hours of Wednesday. Now, the cause of the fire has yet to be ascertained by some of the traders, you know, who have claimed that their shops were burnt down by political talks seeking to intimidate them against voting for their preferred candidate in the Saturday's governorship election in Lagos. Now, we all have seen how, you know, people have been coming around in Lagos, how so many intimidation and suppression have been going on in Lagos. Even before the elections, we have been seeing this intimidation, this suppression going on by political talks. And most people and most Nigerians have been pointing hand at the APC, you know, the ruling All Progressive Congress. And people are really so angry, you know, about this particular issue. Now, this same intimidation have repeated itself again by the burning down of the Akere market in Lagos. Now, with all what, you know, we have seen, the Labour Party governorship candidate in the state, you know, Rados uh, Vano, you know, he, uh, went to meet the traders of those that, you know, their shops were burnt down. And to the extent, he even donated, you know, a, a huge sum of money of, uh, I think, 15 million. Yes, he gave the, the traders to compensate them for their loss. He gave them the sum of uh, 15 million to compensate them for their loss. And now all these things are happening. And we are seeing all these incidents in Lagos. This is not the first time. And the Akere spare parts market is one of the biggest, you know, in, in Lagos that is said to be dominated by the Igbo traders. Now, this market was born after hours after the former aviation minister and a spokesperson of the All Progressives Congress Presidential Campaign Council, Femi Fani Kayode, alleged that there is an agenda by the Igbo ethnic groups to take Lagos from Yorubas. Now, in his tweet, he stated, I make no apology for saying the following, that Lagos is no man's land. It belongs to the Yoruba. Other than winning the presidency, the most important thing for the Yoruba to do is to ensure that um, Sawo Olu is uh, re-elected as the governor of Lagos. Outside of what... Outside of that, pardon, we are finished as a race. Femi Kayode stated in, you know, series of his tweets on Tuesday. Now, the Labour Party candidate, Rados Vano, whose uh, mother is an Igbo and who is currently, you know, running for the governorship position in Lagos, have 
gone to compensate with those that their businesses were burned down and you know they really lost so much at this fire incident he went ahead and compensated with them my country people this is just you know so bad that all these things are happening in lagos the answers protest the end the 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 lakeito gate massacre in lagos how p2b supporters were intimidated it happened in the same lagos you know, you see how political talks are going around, intimidating people, challenging people that uh, if they don't vote for the APC, that you that you, in fact what will happen to them, they won't like it. All these things is happening in Lagos, and yet no one has been apprehended for this particular issue. Now, a tweet you know came. Someone stated that uh, if I think uh, was it Femi Kayo Day or you know someone really made a tweet that um, if they let that they should not let you know uh vanos yeah to take over the governorship position in lagos that they would make sure that the the labor party governorship candidate does not win in lagos because they don't want an Igbo person to rule lagos we saw some certain tweets where somebody made you know a particular comment about that particular issue and now femi kayode who had also you know tweeted about Igbo agenda just few hours before we heard that the market was burnt down we all know that femi kayode is the spokesperson of the all progressive congress uh, of the presidential campaign council where he said that there is an agenda by the Igbo ethnic group to take lagos from yorubas where he made on his tweet that lagos is not no man's land and it belongs to the yoruba my country people so most you know people in lagos most Igbos in lagos have stated that in fact this is an intimidation on them my country people we don't really know what is happening in this country we don't really know what is really going on in this country we are just seeing intimidation suppression here and there and this is so rampant in lagos this is really really rampant in lagos that the Igbo people are now being intimidated in lagos just because they are not in their land that is what most of them you know have alleged that lagos is is, is no man's land is it, it is the land of the yorubas this is really you know so 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 sad indeed and now femi kayode who has married you know an Igbo woman i can't believe that he is the one making this statement Yes, now my country people. He married an Igbo woman. So why is Femi Kayode carrying this Igbo agenda matter on his head? I don't really understand, no guys. So what are your thoughts, you know, concerning this issue? Because it seems that uh, there's something really going on in that Lagos, and we really need to talk about it, guys. Can you share your thoughts concerning, you know, Femi Fanny's Kayode? comments and statements concerning the Igbo agenda. Can you share your thoughts concerning this in the comment section down below? Thank you. Bye for now.